Greetings. Welcome to the Kenyan teacher once again. In this video, we have the pleasure to present sodium metal. First, we want to look at some statistics in as far as testing of the metal is concerned for the last 10 years. That is from the year 2012 to the year 2021. Students, you can see sodium has not been very popular with the examiner because for the 10 years ranging from 2012 to 2021, it has been tested only twice. And the number of marks for those two years that sodium has ever been tested is only a total of six marks. This is 2015 KCSE paper one, question number two, worth three marks, and 2017 KCSE chemistry paper one, question number 27, worth three marks. However, the metal was tested in the year 2005 in paper 2 for a total of 12 marks. Welcome. As we go through the two questions, the two short questions from paper 1 and one question that came in paper 2. So we begin with 2015. KCSE Chemistry Paper 1, question number 2, where we were asked, name the raw material from which sodium is extracted. The answer expected here is molten sodium chloride. That is the raw material from which sodium metal is extracted. A student had the option of mentioning the ore, and for that matter, rock salt was also acceptable for one mark. Part B, give a reason why sodium is extracted using electrolysis. We have two reasons here, but the student was expected to just give one. The first reason being that sodium is very reactive. Then, a student had the option of comparing it with a common reducing agent, so would also say that sodium is more reactive than carbon. Because you remember or you realize the other metals that we uh, extract using uh, reduction method, the main reducing agent is carbon or carbon 2 oxide. Last question for that year asked us to give two uses of sodium metal. And here there is quite a number of uses we can put sodium to. One of them being manufacture manufacture of a compound called sodium cyanide. Then this sodium cyanide is finally used to extract gold. We also have manufacture of a very important chemical in chemistry called sodium hydroxide, which can be used to make soaps and so on. We also use sodium to manufacture sodium peroxide. Other uses include in lamps, we also have the alloy of it and potassium being used as coolant in nuclear reactors. So these are some of the uses of sodium that a student will think of. We also have sodium being used in extraction of titanium. 
So we were expected to just give two, each a half a mark, totaling to one mark. So that is sodium as tested in the year 2015, chemistry paper one, worth only three marks. Moving on to 2017, chemistry paper one, sodium was also tested in question number 27 for three marks. Part A read, name two ores in which sodium occurs. So here we have rock salt, which is basically solid sodium chloride. But you don't have to explain that. You just write rock salt. And we also have the salt peter. I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but I believe I'm correct. Salt peter, which is actually solid sodium nitrate. So these are the two common ores in which sodium occurs. For part B, we are asked, during extraction of sodium, using the Downs process, calcium chloride is added to the ore. Give a reason for addition of calcium chloride. This is simple. The reason for addition of calcium chloride is to lower or reduce to lower or reduce the melting point the melting point of sodium chloride and why are we doing this we are doing this to reduce to reduce cost of fuel cost of fuel needed to melt it remember our electrolyte is molten uh, sodium chloride so if we can melt it at a lower temperature the better for us in terms of costs 2017 again asked to give two uses of sodium and as indicated in 2015 we have manufacture of sodium cyanide some of these questions are normally repeated. We have manufacture of sodium hydroxide. And we also have others which we have mentioned earlier. Manufacture of sodium peroxide in sodium lamps. And an alloy of sodium and potassium is used as coolant in nuclear reactors. And also we have sodium being used in extraction of titanium. So a student to think of those for one mark, giving the two uses. And that was it for 2017 KCSE Chemistry Paper 1, where sodium was tested. We want to end this video by now looking at Paper 2 of 2005, where sodium was tested for a whole 12 Max. Welcome. So for the year 2005, KCSE Chemistry Paper 2, we had sodium tested for 12 marks. Question part A told us that below is a simplified diagram of the Downs cell used in the manufacture of sodium. Study it and answer the questions that follow. So here we are. We have uh, our electrolyte being introduced from the top here. We have our anode at which chlorine is discharged or chloride ions are discharged to give chlorine gas which leaves here. And then don't forget we have steel diaphragm separating the two electrodes. And then our cathode is circular steel, which discharges sodium ions to form sodium metal, which then leaves via the exit here. So, to the questions, what material is the anode made of? And give a reason. The answer 
The anode is made of either graphite or we can use titanium. And why we are doing this is because the two do not react with chlorine gas. That is the reason why we use the materials for the anode. So giving the name one mark and giving the reason another mark. Number I mean Roman two for the same question. What precaution is taken to prevent chlorine and sodium from recombining? And here as we have discussed we have a steel diaphragm. We have a steel diaphragm being suspended between we have a steel diaphragm being suspended between the electrodes. So this prevents uh, sodium and chlorine from recombining. Steel diaphragm for the one mark. Question next question is asking us to write an ionic equation for the reaction in which chlorine gas is formed. So here we form chlorine gas when we discharge chloride ions at the anode. So we shall have two moles of chloride ions being discharged to give one mole of chlorine gas and this would be accompanied by two moles of electrons. To the next question. In the Downs process used for manufacture of sodium, a certain salt is added to lower the melting point of sodium chloride from about 800 to about 600. Name the salt. We know the salt is calcium chloride. State why it is necessary to lower the temperature. As agreed earlier, it is economical. It is economical to lower that temperature. So each one of these one mark including the equation for production of chlorine at anode. Number, part C, sorry. Explain why aqueous sodium chloride is not suitable as an electrolyte. Remember, we are using molten sodium chloride. So why can't we use the aqueous form of our raw material? The answer is hydrogen ions would be discharged. Remember, this one would be, would be introduced from the aqueous nature of your electrolyte. So hydrogen ions would be discharged preferentially, preferentially instead, instead of sodium ions. And remember, we need the sodium ions to be uh, discharged. This takes place at the cathode. Again, a student would tell us that hydroxyl ions would be discharged preferentially, would be discharged preferentially, preferentially instead, instead of what we read chloride ions at the anode. So one mark for the cathode and one mark for the anode. The discharges that would be there if we use aqueous form of our electrolyte. To part D, sodium metal reacts with air to form two oxides. Give the formulae of the two. So we have ordinary sodium oxide and we all do have the sodium peroxide. Here the names were not acceptable because the examiner insisted on the formulae of the oxides. Finally, and has been the case with the other years, we are asked to give two uses of sodium. And here we've said earlier, we can repeat manufacture of sodium cyanide. And we can now go for uh, manufacture of sodium 
peroxide. The other uses may include in sodium lamps. We may also have its alloy with potassium being used as a coolant in nuclear reactors and also in extraction of titanium. Students, up to that end, we've ended a video in which we looked at the history of the examiner in terms of setting from the metal sodium. We wish you all the best. Spread the good news about existence of our channel. And we urge you to keep it the Kenyan teacher as your companion in online revision of chemistry.